Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to keep working with Access here to make some advanced queries. Now, we've already done a crosstab query and a find duplicates query. I also want to find unmatched query. So, this is the same database I've been working with before, but I have added a fourth table. If you recall, I've got a table of employees. There's 300 employees that can work on contract. They uh, have a number of tasks that they can perform, whether web development, programming, or networking. And there's a jobs log that keeps track of the date, the employee involved, the client involved, the task they did, the start time, and the end time. In another query, I calculate the hours and figure out what the actual job cost is. We created a cross-tab query to keep track of pay totals based on tasks. And we also did a find duplicates query to find out if there was any perhaps double billing, either intentional or accidental, which is basically the same employee working two different clients at the exact same dates and times. Now I want to do an unmatched query. I've got this jobs log, which has been keeping track of activities for January through May, and I'm curious if there are any clients in my clients table, and I've got um, 83 clients, I want to find out if there are any clients that we have not done any work for in this time period. And that could be a potential uh, area to start calling and marketing to. So very simple table here. I just have client IDs and client names. So let's get to work on this. I'm going to head over to my create ribbon, and I'm going to perform another query wizard. This time, I'm going to find unmatched queries. So I'm going to do a find unmatched. Click OK. The query you create will list records in the table that you select below that have no related records in the table you select on the next screen. So I'm in this particular question, I am interested in my clients. Which table or query contains records you want in the query results? Ulti ultimately, I want a list of clients that I have not done work with in the past five months because these are the clients that I want to investigate a little bit further. So I'm definitely interested in my clients table. So I'll click next. Which table or query contains the related records? Well, this is where I'm going to choose my jobs log table because if I've done work with this client, there's, they are going to have entries in my jobs log table. I'm mostly interested in clients that have not done any work with meaning they will not have entries in my jobs log table. So that's the table I'm going to choose. Next. Which piece of information is in both tables? Client ID is in both tables. That's already been selected for me, so that's fine. Next. And what fields do I want to see in the query results? I'll go ahead and bring in my client ID my client name and my client phone. I do have a phone number field yet I don't think I entered mock data for phone numbers so that won't be that exciting but this is the kind of information you'd want. Of course you'd probably also want your clients uh, address information and stuff too so perhaps you could market them directly. I'll go ahead and click Next. I'll go ahead and leave the default name. These are clients without matching jobs log. That'll be the default name for my query and I'll click Finish. So if you recall, I had 83 clients in my clients table, and unmatched, I have 23 results. So that means 23 of the clients in my table don't have any record of a jobs log from January to May, which is the range of dates that I've got. So these are the clients that I'm really interested in finding out if there's further work. So once again, that's using our uh, query wizard to find an unmatched situation.